Hey, everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a fan of the NFL, you're in for a treat today. We're diving into the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback situation as they gear up for their Week 7 matchup against the New York Jets. The big question on everyone's mind is, will Russell Wilson finally get the starting nod, or will Justin Fields keep his job? This is a hot topic, so let's break it all down. The Pittsburgh Steelers made waves during the 2024 offseason when they signed Russell Wilson, aiming to bring a veteran presence to their quarterback room. However, a calf injury during preseason put a damper on those plans, sidelining him for the first five games. In his absence, Justin Fields stepped in and delivered a 4-2 record. Today, we'll unpack what this means for both quarterbacks and the team moving forward. Wilson's injury was a significant setback. Fans were eager to see him in action, but he had to watch from the sidelines as Fields took over. After finally returning to the active roster in Week 6, Wilson now faces a critical moment in his career. He's healthy again, but the question remains, how ready is he to reclaim the starting job? Coach Mike Tomlin recently commented on the situation, stating that Wilson is in consideration to start against the Jets. His exact words were, I got comfortable with his ability to display his health last week. Now it's about knocking the rust off. This indicates that Tomlin is weighing the pros and cons of starting Wilson while keeping an eye on Fields' performance. Let's take a closer look at both quarterbacks. Justin Fields has been impressive, showcasing his ability to extend plays and run effectively. For example, he rushed for over 50 yards and had two rushing touchdowns in one game, proving he can be a dual threat. On the other hand, Russell Wilson has a proven track record. He's a Super Bowl champion and has made numerous clutch plays in his career. The experience and skill set he brings could be invaluable for the Steelers, especially in high-pressure situations. Tomlin also hinted that both quarterbacks could see playing time. Certainly, there's a scenario where both could be utilized, he mentioned. This adds an intriguing layer to their strategy for the Jets game. Imagine a game plan that leverages the strengths of both Wilson and Fields. This could confuse the Jets' defense and open up new opportunities for the Steelers' offense. Wilson's calf injury during preseason raised a lot of eyebrows. Fans were eager to see him suit up, but it was not to be. He finally returned to the active roster in Week 6, but only as a backup to Fields. Let's dive into the historical context. No quarterback has ever been benched with a 4-2 record for their seventh game in the Super Bowl era. This makes Fields' position even more precarious, especially given how well he's performed. Tomlin's decision could set a precedent and might reflect broader trends in the league about how teams handle quarterback rotations. Now, let's take a look at what fans are saying. Social media is buzzing with opinions. Some fans firmly believe Fields should keep the starting job because of his contributions and recent performances. Others argue that Wilson's experience and past success warrant a shot at starting again. The debate is lively, and it reflects the passion that football fans have for their teams and players. In a recent press conference on October 15, coach Mike Tomlin emphasized that Wilson is in consideration to start in Week 7. He stated, I got comfortable with his ability to display his health last week. Now it's about knocking the rust off. This shows that while Wilson is healthy enough to play, Tomlin is weighing the risks of starting him against the potential rewards. Let's talk about Justin Fields. He's been solid in his role, showcasing not just his passing abilities but also his agility and speed. Rushing for over 50 yards and scoring two touchdowns in one game highlights his dual threat capability. But let's not forget Wilson's track record. He's a seasoned veteran who has consistently performed under pressure, and he brings a level of experience that can't be ignored. The competition is undeniably intense. Tomlin's comments hint at a potential shift, stating that they're looking at all their options. Wilson's talent is undeniable, and the Steelers could be inclined to see what he can do if given the opportunity. As Tomlin said, this is a competitive league. We're trying to position ourselves to be that team. With that in mind, the stakes have never been higher for both quarterbacks. The implications of this decision stretch far beyond just one game. The Steelers currently sit at 4-2, but with a tough schedule ahead, they need every advantage they can get. If Wilson starts and performs well, it could propel the team into playoff contention. Conversely, if Fields continues to thrive, 
he could solidify his role as the future of the franchise. The stakes couldn't be higher. The narrative surrounding this quarterback competition is compelling. Fields has certainly done well enough to keep the starting job, but Tomlin's comments suggest that Wilson's talent cannot be overlooked. The phrase we're just looking at all the people at our disposal is a strong indicator that every option is on the table. It creates an environment of healthy competition that can push both players to elevate their game. Tomlin's strategy for the Jets game could involve both quarterbacks, which would be fascinating to watch. He hinted that it's possible to use both Wilson and Fields in tandem, saying, certainly, there's a scenario where both could be utilized. This could confuse the Jets' defense and provide an innovative approach to their offensive strategy. Now, let's look at this from a historical perspective. No quarterback in the Super Bowl era has been benched with a 4-2 record heading into Week 7. This fact adds pressure to Tomlin's decision-making process. Historically, teams have been cautious about making significant changes to their quarterback situation when things are going relatively well, as they are for the Steelers. Let's turn our attention to the fans, because their opinions matter. Social media is alive with discussions about this quarterback battle. Some fans are staunchly defending Fields, highlighting his contributions and recent performances. Others argue that Wilson's extensive experience gives him the edge. What's your take? Let us know in the comments below. The implications of this decision could ripple throughout the rest of the Steelers' season. At 4-2, they're in a decent position, but the competition in the AFC is fierce. The outcome of the Jets game could set the tone for the remainder of their season. If Wilson starts and excels, it could provide a significant boost to their playoff aspirations. Conversely, if Fields continues to thrive, he could solidify his position as the franchise's future. Now, let's get some expert analysis. Many analysts are weighing in on the implications of this quarterback battle. Some argue that sticking with Fields could help him develop into a more well-rounded quarterback, while others believe that Wilson's experience is crucial in high-stakes situations. What does this mean for the Steelers? They need to find the right balance between winning now and developing talent for the future. Looking ahead to the Jets game, it's essential to analyze their performance as well. The Jets have had a rocky season, but they boast a formidable defense. Whether it's Wilson or Fields under center, the Steelers will need to execute their game plan effectively to secure a win. The battle in the trenches and the quarterback's ability to read the defense will be critical factors. As we draw closer to the game, the anticipation builds. Will Coach Tomlin make the bold decision to start Wilson? or will he stick with Fields, who has been instrumental in the team's success? The tension is palpable, and we can't wait to see how this plays out. Make sure to leave your predictions in the comments. Who do you think should start, and why? Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for all the latest updates on the NFL season. We'll be back with more content leading up to the big game, so stay tuned.